viewers, you are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news, such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Viewers, you are welcome to today's trending news. And the headline is What Awolo said about Buari before he died. But before we proceed, we would like to appreciate you for the time being spent in subscribing to our channel. Thank you for the patience. Thank you for the many love you have shown to this channel. Please don't get tired. Continue. Don't forget to always strike on the like button as well as the red subscribe button to always get updated anytime we upload new videos. The news and details. Olufunke Awolowo, a granddaughter of late Obafemi Awolowo, has revealed what the late sage said about President Buhari during his lifetime. Speaking on the performance of President Buhari, Olufunke, who is a member of the Alliance for People's Trust Party, said, It is a long time I had been hearing about Buhari, so when he came back in 2014 with the change matter, I thought he had changed. That's why at a point I personally campaigned for him because I believed it was time for change. Someone even asked me if my late grandfather, Chief Awolo, would have been happy to see me campaign for Buhari. I told the person that times had changed. But the past three years have shown that the man Buhari has not changed one bit. As for as he is concerned, nothing has changed. Commenting further, she said, Buari has failed, and that has taken my mind back to what Papa said about him a long time ago, before he died. My grandfather said then that General Buari did not have a full understanding of politics and governance. With what is happening in the country now, Papa was right. Reminded of the claims by the government of achievement made in various sectors of the economy, the pastor cum politician said, it's all propaganda, he said. Even President Trump for a while was almost deceived. You could see how angry the American president was with his reaction. After that, Nigeria needs someone who is sincere and who means well. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, I'm not surprised at what has just been revealed by the daughter, the granddaughter of Obafemi Awolowo. It's a clear definition of who President Momo Buhari is. You can see that he has just been traced from his, 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 uh, his first administration as a military president. This is an information gotten from late Obafemi Awolowo, the daughter. You can see that this man has no good um, political record. I would say that bringing him to power is just 
because of our ignorance. Proper uh, research supposed to have been done before bringing such person to 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 power, but then everybody believes that one thing that is constant in life is change. So everybody believes even people that uh, that uh, that knows him in the past felt yes that uh, he has changed because uh, as uh, as one grows up age counts then definitely the person will believe that the, the person will definitely change so people believe that definitely president Mumobari must have changed because of his age unknown to nigerians that he still remaining remain the same uh, or uh, and even getting worse than before you know and that uh, military uh, uh, experience is still so much in him that is why um, it's not a uh, welcoming in terms of decision making you know when it when it comes to decision making it's always his own decision any other person's decision is not welcoming you understand so I'm not surprised at what the daughter of the granddaughter of Obafemi Awolowo is saying President Momo Buhari has no single understanding of good governance. He doesn't have any knowledge about politics. You know, the man is just a military person. He would have just remained as a military man and don't even think about politics at all. You understand? So, I don't know. I don't know. Let me say it's Nigerians' ignorance. It's our ignorance that made us to bring him to power, you know, that made people to vote for him. Okay, look at what the lady is saying. That she she voted for, for him because she believed that he must have changed. Because time has changed. You can see now. So um uh, now she has been disappointed by uh, uh, Buari's level of performance. So what are we talking about now? So that means we should not be surprised at what uh, what we are experiencing today in Nigeria. The level of insecurity, kidnapping, you know, and uh, robbery. That we are experiencing in Nigeria today, and nothing is being done about it by President Buhari, you know, and people keep saying no, 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 that um, it um, it must not be uh, on on him alone. That um, uh, which uh, the other uh, leaders supposed to have given him a a hand support. What are we talking about here? As a figurehead, as the president. He's supposed to have started it. So you can see. You can see that uh, what Awolo said concerning him is true. He has been showing this ignorant attitude. He has been showing this less consigned attitude right from the onset. That quality of being uh, a leader has not been in him. Right from the beginning and this attitude of self-decision has been inside of him right from the beginning Gwari is a headstrong person he's a headstrong leader he doesn't show concern to people's um, decision so we are not surprised and we should not be surprised and now that we have known, I think Nigerians should just accept him the way he is. And um, we should all just be prayerful. We should be prayerful because, uh, because uh, now that we have known who he is, we, do, we believe that the, the remaining of his tenor, remaining of his tenor, we, we should be the one um, securing ourselves and not 
is uh, and not believing in his um, pray, in his um, uh, uh, security any longer, because we have actually seen or heard and were heard, heard things about him and what he uh, is capable of doing as a person. So um, I'll say to Nigerians that uh, now everybody is now in his own in his own life boat. So whatever you know that that you can do to secure yourself, secure yourself, I'll give your family or your your people a maximum protection. Do that.